Hello everybody, my name is Alexis Deacon. I'm an author and illustrator of children's books and in a second I will be doing a drawing with you all but um, before then I thought you might like to see my face. Here it is. Now you have something to imagine while I'm doing the drawing. All right, let's cut to the drawing board. So here we are at the desk and uh, it's time to make a drawing. Um, where, where shall we start? Well, uh, to be honest, you can start anywhere. It really doesn't matter. Um, we're going to make a character today. One place that I like to start is uh, the nose. I figure the nose is like this kind of giant arrow that we have stuck in the middle of our face. Um, if you know where the nose is, then you usually know which way the character's face is pointing. Uh, so this character is looking at something on the ground. Uh, let's give our character a, a, a mouth. Um, now we know which way they're looking, let's give them some eyes. Um, when I'm making a drawing like this, I do uh, eyes that uh, are pretty big, let's say, because uh, you want to be able to see when you're sitting at the back of a big theatre. Now this character looks a bit spooky, they look like they might be a vampire, so let's give this character some vampire teeth and oh, some sharp eyebrows like that. Um, now uh, vampires have this kind of classic hair, pointy hair, don't they? And everything on vampires is pointy from the teeth uh, on down. So uh, there we have pointy ears as well. Is that a thing? Vampires with pointy ears? Probably not, but uh, this one has pointy ears. There we go. And let's, let's give him some shiny black hair. He uses a lot of gel, this vampire. He's very excited that he is uh, not dead. Okay, there we go. Right, um, now it's summer, so I think a heavy cape is maybe a bit too much for this vampire to wear. So maybe it would be better to put him in a nice t-shirt and shorts. Um, let's, maybe he's, maybe he's uh, surfing. Um, maybe he's on holiday. Um, Let's let's give him some arms. I don't think he's very good at surfing. Not that vampires are like cats; they don't don't really like water very much. Um, right, and I think what would a vampire have on their shirts? Little hearts. I'm sure that's what he would definitely have on his t-shirt for his summer holidays. So there we go, little hearts. And um, yeah, some shorts. He's probably wearing those kind of like big Bermuda shorts. With a little string tie here. Um, very fashionable when I was a kid, but completely unfashionable now. At least I think so. Um, right, and um, let's, I said everything on Vampire's pointy, so let's give him some pointy shoes. What's he doing wearing shoes in the water? Well, he's not very experienced at surfing, so he didn't know you weren't supposed to wear shoes. Um, uh, there's his second shoe. And uh, let's give him his surfboard. Um, pointy, of course. Probably with a skull on it. Vampires like things with skulls. Uh, they also like rainbows, so uh, let's give him some rainbows on his shorts. And uh, rainbow on the other side as well. Obviously a rainbow isn't quite so impressive when it's in black and white, but you can use your imagination. Uh, splash of water here. A um, little bit of a wave. He's in the midst of having some sort of a disaster. And what's the disaster? Well, uh, he forgot that he was supposed to be coming to watch the children's book show, where um, myself, uh, Alexis Deacon, shall I write my name here? Uh, we'll be drawing and uh, telling stories live, and you should come and see me. Uh, so, Let's say come and see. 
draw. Live. That's probably what shocked this vampire, because he's not alive, he's undead, and he doesn't like to be reminded. There we go, he's, now he's having a bad day. All right, well, uh, I look forward to seeing you all uh, on stage, and uh, until then, have a great day.